Yeah, hey everybody, this is Ian from mindfulmarketplace.com and welcome back to uh, you know, the quarantined entrepreneur's guide to something. I'm not exactly sure what, but it is Sunday morning and some of the folks in uh, you know, some of you actually who've been watching these uh, videos on YouTube and, and emailing me privately via uh, our Facebook page, um, you know, who thankfully have been getting some value out of these most recent things I've been sharing. But one of the things that keeps coming up quite often is uh, creating uh, a course or teaching and or, or you know, launching an online um, storefront or business that is educational, uh, you know, that incorporates educational marketing in whatever area of expertise you may have. So one of the things I thought I would do, because I just recorded another video about 10 minutes ago, I'm only half conscious at this point, unfortunately, but uh, I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily create a uh, product on um, on Podia, right? So Podia is the uh, course software and the uh, sort of storefront software that we use on our partners uh, page for mindfulmarketplace.com. We also use Pathrite, which is a much more uh, sophisticated online LMS. But I'm going to show you really quickly how easily you can create a course on Podia. Right. So, and again, just generally taking uh, content that I've just created in the last, I don't know, the last half hour or so. All right. So, we're going to go to create. I'm going to create a product. It's not going to be a course this time, actually. So, I'm going to create, it's going to be a digital download. So, here are the options that you have online course, digital downloads, webinars, bundles. I'm going to call this. Edu educational marketing made really easy because that's essentially what I just created um, in terms of the um, the video that I just made and the short PDF that I'm going to be adding. All right, so we're going to add files, and then I'm just going to I don't even want to show you my desktop because it's so hideous right now. As you can see, it's just like a, a, a fucking shit show. Forgive my. Easter language. Where is the? Oh God, is this embarrassing? Let me see. There it is. All right, so here's the file. I promise I will clean this desktop up later today. <laughs> All right, so we're going to upload that. So now you have uh, a PDF that's been added. <coughs> that's a non-COVID nineteen cough, by the way. All right, I hope anyway. All right, let me see what else do we want to do. We want to add more content. Not really. It's just a single uh, PDF that we're going to be including in this. All right, so I'm going to, I have options here of creating a pre launch page or making this available for being published. If I created a pre launch page, you would essentially be able to say, let's say this is available tomorrow or on Tuesday and send people to this page and collect email addresses, which is a great way of building your list and some anticipation for whatever it is that you'll, you'll be selling. But in this case, actually, I'm, I'm just giving this away um, and I really have no interest in doing anything fancy or you know, adding people to a list or a funnel or an automated sequence. Um, so I'm just going to publish it. All right, and now it's published. We don't want to promote it because I don't really care about that either. You, you know, if I was doing something a little bit more sophisticated here, um, you know, you'd want to, you'd want to actually engage in some, you know, in promoting this on Twitter or Facebook or running ads or, you know, whatever. Let's really quickly look because we're not done yet. Let's just look at what it looks like, and you can see, essentially, here's a very, very rudimentary looking landing page. And the contents are that PDF that I just uploaded from that hideous desktop. That you just, unfortunately, I just revealed to the world. All right. So now what we want to do, and this is a little bit different on Podia than it is on other, um, you know, LMS, uh, you know, um, storefront software, whatever you want to call them, like Teachable or Gumroad, etc. We're going to go to our store. And actually, I think this is much better on Podia. This is why we use this primarily for our partners page. And we're going to actually search for Education Marketing Made Easy, which is here. That's what I just created a moment ago. And now we're going to start to build out the landing page. 
and you can do this using these really uh, cool blocks. Uh, maybe they're not even cool. Maybe they're just useful or easy uh, to use for those of you who are not designers or not coders, both of which uh, apply to me. So let's really quickly call this a crash. No spell entrepreneurs. All right, so there's that. Now we're going to add an image. I can either drop an image in. I actually just saved one. Let's see if I can do this without again just hideously showing my desktop. Here it is. So this fast fix PDF. I actually saved an image from it so that I could add that to the uh, product so folks can see actually what they'll be getting, or at least one of the pages of the. Um, you know, of the PDF. All right, now, I mean, I can add a video if I wanted to the uh, header area here, which I did record a video, which is gonna be on YouTube, but I'm not actually going to do that now. You can make a background image here, right? So you can actually set like some design elements to this area to make it look a little spiffier. We're not gonna do that either, but I will show you. You can change to dark, you can change to light, you can change to none. So this is like a great, little bit of a silvery gray tint. This is obviously dark. This is default, which is the, def, you know, give you the, Podia gives you the options of setting a default color scheme that you can use if you want, uh, you know, anything other than these options. And I could change this anytime. You can move things around like this. You can create a custom, um, you know, color scheme just for this one product, as you can see here, you know, changing the background, let's say, you know, all those things are really kind of unnecessary at this point. So we're just going to leave that as none. I can't remember if I have to save this or just go back, let's just go back. All right, so then you have the table of contents. You can add sections. So the sections here are, I don't know why that's all highlighted. There you go. All right, so you have, you can add video with text, image with text, testimonials. The, the, what I have found in terms of conversions to simplify the landing page, but add FAQs. Right. I mean, so, you know, I used to add as many sections as I could and dance this whole thing up so that it looked pretty elegant and elaborate. I've just found that suppresses conversions for me. Right. So um, a, a good workaround is to leave the, you know, the, the, the header land above the fold stuff, uh, you know, make it most salient information up top and then use the frequently asked question section to address any potential uh, questions that your audience may have prior to signing up. So I would just say, maybe what am I, or you know what, actually we would change this to, actually I'd probably leave it as FAQ to be honest with you. And then you would just, you know, you can see here, you just change all this around. So it could say, um, is this really right? I mean, you know, so you could just obviously you don't need me to do this for you, but you can see just continue to add questions that ideally would be relevant to what you're uh, offering above, not stuff that, that I just wrote you know, here. All right. So essentially that's it. So then you would go down and let me see, I think that saves automatically. I just don't remember actually. Let me go back. Let me get rid of this because this is kind of obfuscating my ability to make rational design decisions. All right. So let's look at the product now and you should see just the landing page with this image get access for free, what's included, one file, there, there are the contents, and then the common questions 
you know, is this really free? It is enjoy your leisure. And then the second sort of, you know, placeholder text below, which obviously you wouldn't include, you would just continue to build out the FAQ section, um, you know, as appropriate for your product. And again, I would actually leave this as FAQs. Common questions is probably not the right uh, verbiage for that area. Okie doke. So there you have it. There is a uh, new product on Podia that's actually ready to be purchased. So if I did that and just added this, and then Oh, actually, it's trying to log me into an existing account. So anyway, you get the general idea. Okie doke. Hope that makes sense. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Thanks.